If an amateur like me can learn logic, then so can you. Hi, I'm the Amateur Logician. I want to show you my beat-up copy of Patrick Hurley's A Concise Introduction to Logic. Some years ago, I found this at a Goodwill. It was probably only a few bucks, a few smackers, and it was well worth the money. This is the ninth edition from 2006. The latest edition, when I just checked a few minutes ago on the internet, is now in its 14th edition, yet you'll spend over $200 on Amazon for a new copy. There's no way you should spend that much money, and I would be genuinely surprised if the latest edition was significantly better than the copy I have. To be sure, the new edition covers more probability, statistics, and scientific reasoning than this ninth edition textbook, so if you want more coverage of those topics, look for a used copy of a more recent edition, or just consider another supplementary book that specializes in those topics. And this is a beat up copy, as you can see. And I hope this book doesn't fall apart, but I think it's still, you know, still good. It's workable, it's readable, it's not falling apart yet, so that's a good thing at least. And this is a pretty standard book you will find uh, being issued in many, many university courses on introductory logic in the philosophy departments. And most one semester courses do not cover the entire textbook. So like here, for example, it says, what kind of course are you in? So here's a recommendation. Like if this is a traditional logic course, cover these chapters. If this is a more informal logic course on critical reasoning skills, do these chapters and sections. Or if this course is on modern symbolic logic, focus on this stuff. So let's look at the uh, table of contents. So chapter one is on basic concepts. So I'll, what are arguments? And if we're thinking about an argument, there are premises, there's an inclusion. It's thinking about the difference between deduction and induction, the difference between validity and soundness. Chapter two is on language meaning and definition. For example, what's the difference between the intention and extension of terms? What's a good definition? What's a bad definition? Chapter three is on informal fallacies. So we have fallacies in general, fallacies of relevancy, of weak induction, of presumption, ambiguity, and grammatical analogy, and fallacies in ordinary language. A standard way to classify fallacies would be by relevancy, weak deduction, and presumption. We can also make a distinction between so-called formal and informal fallacies. Chapter four is on categorical propositions. So we have the so-called AIEO propositions. We'll think about quality, quantity, and distribution in such propositions because you have a subject-predicate relationship. For example, all men are mortal. So that's a universal affirmative proposition. You can represent these types of propositions with Venn diagrams. We can think about the square of opposition and things like conversion, aversion, contraposition, that sort of thing. Chapter five is on categorical syllogisms. You can use Venn diagrams with that. There are also enthymemes and the sororities. Then you move into symbolic logic. Um, like propositional logic, that's a truth functional logic. So you have truth tables, that sort of thing. I kind of have a dislike of truth tables, but perhaps they're pedagogically useful. They're kind of tedious, but anyways, that's a standard topic that's covered. And this is a pretty standard textbook. So if you're taking a introductory logic course in a philosophy department at some university or community college, Patrick Hurley's book is one of the most commonly assigned textbooks. And you can self-study from this book, so it's not super difficult. It's not written in a super hard manner. Um, I think it's much easier to read than a lot of mathematical books. Like if you pick up a new math book, um, let's say you've never studied calculus before and you buy the latest edition of some calculus textbook, that's kind of hard, I think. But I think reading this, and you've never taken any logic before, I think it's much more doable. But anyways, um, so chapter six, like I said, is propositional logic. And then um, natural deduction and propositional logic. So the various rules of implication and replacement. Things like modus ponens, modus tollens, um, uh, constructive dilemmas, all that good stuff. 
and then predicate logic. So here we have quantifiers. So um, you can deal with categorical syllogisms in predicate logic. You can't deal with them in propositional logic. So all men are mortal. In propositional logic, you can only represent that entire proposition with just one letter. There's not much you can do with it. You can only relate it via various sentential connectives like the and, or, if, then, or, if, and only if um, connective. But you can represent all men are mortal in predicate logic in a robust sense. And then we have the last chapter, which is on induction. So this is a little bit light. I think the newer editions kind of expand on this. So here you have, um, for example, probability, statistical reasoning, hypothetical, scientific reasoning. I think these have been made more or less entire chapters in the newer editions. And I actually have not even opened this up. So this apparently came with a CD-ROM, so you can see how old this textbook is. And I don't even have a CD-ROM drive that's workable. So, and this hasn't even been opened, but I should probably do that one of these days just to see what's on here. I suppose there are exercises on there and maybe maybe in the e-text, I'm not sure, but um, I probably should look into that. But um, yeah, this is a good book. You can't go wrong with it. Um, like I said, don't spend $200 on a new copy in the latest edition. That's just outrageous. There's no reason in the world to spend that much money. Get a used copy, go for an older edition, um, do you really need the latest edition? I doubt it. Um, I don't see that as important. So, it, you know, it's a good book. Um, um, I, I like it. It's not perfect, but what what is. Um, so this is a concise introduction to logic by Patrick Hurley. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.